Hello everyone, here is the unboxing, assembly and testing of the Woozy Audio ZK502M Bluetooth Stereo Amplifier Board. Moving forward, I will be reviewing a bunch of affordable entry-level Class D amplifiers on my channel. So let's begin with the unboxing. It comes in a very compact box with the amplifier board, a heatsink with adhesive pad for the power amplifier chip, laminated top and bottom mounting plates, brass standoff screws, screws for securing the mounting plates, a DC power connector terminal, a chrome volume control knob, and a tiny Phillips head screwdriver. Now let's take a look at the board in detail. You can see that it is very compact and fits in the palm easily. The rear side of the board, clean and no components on this side. These are the left and right speaker out posts. This is a 3.5 mm audio out jack. This is the power input terminal and you can easily connect the supplied adapter with the screw terminals to connect the power. Input voltage is 5 to 24 volt DC. 24 volt is a must if you are driving two 50 watt 4 ohm speakers. You can also see the two solid state 35 volt capacitors located next to the power jack for power filtering and smoothing out the voltage ripples from the DC supply. You also have a volume control knob at the center but you do not get tone controls that is for the bass and treble. The amplifier chip is a Texas Instruments TPA3116D2 dual channel class D amplifier. You get a USB input which plays audio files through a FAT32 formatted pen drive. You get a 3.5 mm aux input jack as well, a main power switch and this is your Bluetooth antenna. And at the corner there are two tiny red and blue LEDs for power and Bluetooth connection indicators. So that is as far as this tiny amplifier circuit goes. So let's go ahead, assemble the board and connect it to two different sets of speakers for testing. Guys, for under rupees 700, this is an unbelievably powerful Class D amplifier. If you have a set of old unused speakers at home, you can get this amp and a cheap 24 volt power supply for building your own DIY Bluetooth speakers that gives a really good sound output. So that'll be all guys. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video. Bye and take care.